this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 294, doing a bit of a thought experiment today. If a genie came to you and said, I can grant you one wish for a play set of cards, what one card would you ask for? Now, there's some conditions on this. You can't get a set to sell or trade. They would actually have to be played. You would never be able to give them up. They would be a staple in your collection forever. You think about this yourself, leave in the comments the one card that you would want as a playset and why, like what decks you would create with it. I'm gonna talk about this across each different format here, starting with standard. I'm not a big standard player, but there's a giant standard Grand Prix coming to Portland, and there's a very good chance that I'm gonna be down there playing. And the deck that I have really been looking at and play testing, which I don't own the Avacyns for yet, is Gary Thompson's Green White Token deck. Very powerful deck, lots of fun. It's got Oath of Nyssa in it and uh, Dramoka's Command. The Avacyns are just crazy. This is a throwback to being a kid when I played Sarah Angel. You've got a super powerful Angel now in Standard that would be lots of fun to play. In Modern, I'm looking for a new Modern deck. I really like Red, White, Blue Control, and seeing this list a little while back just kind of warmed my heart. I had no idea that... Nairi would be playable in modern, and I just want to build this, have some fun. This is the type of control deck that looks crazy to play. 24 lands, remands, counter spells, four snapcaster mages, and a planeswalker that hasn't seen a huge amount of play in standard, possibly making a splash in modern really crazy fun deck. In Legacy, it's Imperial Recruiter. This is a card that sorely needs a reprint. There are so many different decks you could build with Imperial Recruiter, and you might be saying, well, Recruiter doesn't dominate the top of Legacy tournament results. That's because nobody has the card. There are so few of these out there. The Judge Foil did absolutely nothing to get it in the hands of players. Alluren, really cool deck. Cobble Therapies, Gataxian Probe doesn't work very well without the Recruiter. Recruiter, in fact, out of this whole video, this is the one card that I would really like a place out of. And there's just like red, white, death, and taxes. That could be really cool. Painter Servant, that could be fun. I like this card a lot, and I look forward to picking some up and brewing with it. Next one here is for Commander. I had a really hard time with this. Commander is a much more personal, casual, fun format. So I picked two cards from my childhood, neither of which I have copies of. They're not overly powerful cards, but they're fun to play and they've got a really cool feel to them, great artwork on them. It's the Abyss and Drop of Honey. Both of these are control cards, like Drop of Honey, definitely weird. I guess Abyss, you definitely see a lot of black control, but this is a persistent effect to it. You could play this in a black artifact deck. Really, really fun. Uh, I would definitely play both of these cards. Popper. Ooh. The Popper format is crazy right now. It's really cool. A lot of people are playing it, but there's a few choke points in the format. Oubliette is one of those cards. I was hoping to see this in Eternal Masters. Needs a reprint more than almost anything else out there for Popper because it adds to the devotion for your gray merchants. When I built my mono black popper deck, it was long ago and it was before gray merchant came out and this new build is just so much more powerful. Please, I hope there's somebody over at Wizards watching this video that grants my wish here and reprints Oubliette. So I'm asking you today, what card would you really like to have a playset out of and what would you use that card in? What deck would you build? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments here and I look forward to having a discussion about this. If we get enough comments, I will turn it into a video and highlight some of those cards. Thank you everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. You are what makes this channel possible. I've got some cool equipment upgrades that I'm working on and I'm going to be traveling to more tournaments as the second half of the year moves forward. Until next time, Choose the cards wisely.